how did I create a liquid solar oil program? How how did it all start? First, I started with broad science observations, right? Growing up looking at manual workers, athletes, friends, even myself, I noticed three consistent trends. One, the people that will overwork or overtrain the muscle every day for big periods of time will have that muscle pretty much be overdeveloped when they started bodybuilding, right? The second thing is they often took long breaks. You know, a lot of these people, uh, again, um, but they will take long breaks. So they will overwork the muscle for a short period of time because of the job or, you know, if they were athletes, whatever, and then they would take breaks, right? Not on purpose, you know, it was just part of the job. Um, and each time they came back, they were noticeably bigger. And I noticed this trend throughout my whole life growing up, right? But I never really understood why, because when I started training, you know, I was reading magazines and it was all about bro splits and training muscles once a week. So I started making videos about it. I was like, guys, you know, like I'm noticing this, I'm noticing this phenomenon. There's no science behind it at the moment, but I'm pretty sure the science will catch up. And that's what I used to say in all those videos. You could still go back and watch them. Then eventually the science breakthroughs came, right? The biggest one was the rat study that showed that if you overtrain the rat's leg, you know, by obviously damaging the other leg, you get a huge increase in muscle nuclei. Um, and also, the second observation was that the more nuclei a muscle has, the faster it grows, right? Which explains muscle memory, which is how steroids work, you know, explains why when you take a long break and you come back to training, your muscle grows so much faster because you lose the muscle, but you don't lose the nuclei, right? And obviously, the third study was uh, mTOR, which is the, you know, the main agent in protein synthesis. Um, it's, it gets desensitized the longer you train. Right? But when you take breaks, it comes back. So long story short, I decided to put all that together. I was like, all right, how, how do I combine the bro science observations that I saw growing up with what the, st the studies were showing at the time? I decided to give it a name, which was nucleus overload, because you're getting a lot of nuclei in that muscle. Right, And based on the observations, again, from looking at my friends and myself, the athletes, all the stories, I decided to structure a 30-day program putting all that together. And I said, one, train the muscle every day. Right, high to moderate reps so that you know you don't cause you know lead to too many injuries or whatever for 30 days. Right. Second thing was take at least a one or two week break to resensitize the muscle and let it recover. This was all just me bro sciencing and going off observations and what I knew at the time. You should grow faster. And this was pure bro science because we didn't have any human studies at the time. And I got a lot of criticism. Number one, it was oh, that's bro science. Number two, People were saying training almost every day will make it shrink. It only works on rats, not humans. It won't bring up black and body parts. Blah, 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 blah. And boom. In 2018, this study came out showing that your initial growth doesn't require new nuclei. Obviously, when you're a beginner, you can just grow. But further growth after that requires way more nuclei. Right? So any growth past 22% requires an addition of the nuclear from satellite cells. And finally, the best nuclear silver load study ever, which came out in 2019 from Bjorn and, and his team. Number one, they picked a group of men and they overtrained the muscle for two weeks, right? So they train the muscle every day, up to twice a day, low weight to high reps. They use blood flow restriction training, Katsu, I made videos about that. Huge gains in satellite cells, up to 147% increase, and also a 31% increase in nuclei, as well as gains in strength and size. Like you're telling you guys, a lot of time the science will catch up to the bro science. Not all bro science is true, but when you're in the face of overwhelming evidence, you have you have to take a leap of faith. And here it is: science has proven that nuclear overload does work.